Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about file managers because I hate file managers and I'm not talking about GUI file managers like Nautilus, Tunar. I'm talking about CLI file managers like Ranger, LF because these things makes you slow and many people use uh, these file managers even though they know how to use terminal and this is not something you should do. So in this video, let's just break this myth and see why using raw terminal commands like cd ls find is way faster than using any ranger like application all right so let's just open terminal i installed ranger for this video so open ranger and go to my music songs and suppose i just want to go birdie and then this album beautiful lies so it took me a bit amount of time but um, i believe that it's faster than using any gui file manager you can search and all these kind of stuff but let's try to doing this with terminal my way so i have this command fcd beautiful lies enter and boom i'm in that directory now some of you might say that you use your weird fcd command and not just raw change directory which means cd well let me show this by just using cd i think it's still faster than using any ranger or anything like that so yeah it took a uh, same amount of time as uh, it took in ranger I don't understand the concept of using ranger over pure unix commands like ls and cd i mean you can do literally anything whatever you want to know you can know about your files and you can navigate faster whatever whatever you ask i can do this with terminal without any worry suppose you just want to open some song so i have this allies open and if i press enter let's just search for a taylor swift song so bad blood and it's way faster than using it's way faster than using any you know file manager now you might say for me it's faster because i'm using this commands fcd and open but let me tell you one truth i never used any of these command i usually just go like this seriously this is my normal way of going anywhere now there are some people who might say that okay but with terminal how you are going to see thumbnails and these kind of stuff for images well i can use sxib for that and um, i have some commands bind so suppose i just want to delete some wallpaper or any image uh, in real time i can just press ctrl x t and it will delete my image and i will make a video where you can select from sxiv and you know do some more stuff from it i think it's pretty useful if you want to first see the image while doing some kind of operation like copying or removing so it's not ready yet but i will show you there are a few more things which some of you might say that if you want to like select some stuff for example let's go to my temp folder so i have some bunch of you know garbage files here and if i want to just select and delete some particular files what i can do is i can just write rm and then type whatever i want to delete i think this is this is pretty normal way of doing things i don't understand why people use ranger or anything like that instead of just doing this but okay fine if you are not into this what you can do is you can use fcf because uh, fcf give you this uh, minus m feature which lets you select some files so if i just want to delete some things so crap txt suppose e paper zip and when you press enter it's going to list all these files so now i can make a variable out of this and uh, i can do rm minus rf and uh, let's do file pdf file pptx and uh, some more stuff add.txt address.txt press enter and if i do ls again so there is no instance of add.txt so the file is deleted now so this is i guess more better than using any file manager so now some of you might say that but how i'm going to copy and move files by using just terminal commands because when you use cp you don't see any progress bar and it's important to you know get any progress bar and you get this in ranger so you can use rsync for that and i use rsync if you just want to copy some small files you can use cp if you want to copy some larger files use rsync so let me just demonstrate you make a new directory go to my temp folder ls rsync i should copy some bigger 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 file so go to my widths folder 
and try to copy this um, this revolution os documentary so r sync minus minus progress minus auv revolution os into my new so it's going to show me the progress so as you can see it's 66 percent done and it's done now go to my new ls and here's the movie i mean documentary whatever now there are a few more things which i use to do things quickly for example i have this get path allies which allow me to get any path suppose if i want to get path of some file it's going to put that uh, file path in my clipboard and now i can do whatever i want suppose i just want to delete it i can delete it i can use any operation so let's just delete it now let me just show you that how these commands like fcd open works because you know it's an injustice i showed you all the cool things and not tell you the secret so it's pretty simple just use find command with type t it's going to list out all the directories and just pipe it into fuzzy finder so suppose uh, wall enter and it's going to output the thing and what i can do now is i can just make a variable and do cd so if i press enter now uh, and do something like wall and press enter so here i am in the wall so that's simple let me show you my zshrc i think i have to first go to zshrc okay so this is fcd it's in function and not an allies it's better if you make a function allies won't work also here on line 16 you can see xtg open so this is doing the same thing but instead of cd i'm using xtg open to open also here instead of d i'm using f because in find command when you use um, f it's going to show all the files and not the directories also here i have this get path i think it's better if i just show you okay so first i'm using find with type f so it's going to list all the files and then putting it in fcf so if i want something i'm going to get the thing after this i am piping this into set because i want to remove this dot slash before path it doesn't look good so how i'm going to do this is pretty simple from starting remove two characters and that's it this simple set command will do the magic so Alright, so I'm not getting any dot slash in front of my path. There is one more problem here that it's giving me the next line. So if I do x clip minus select uh, c and press enter like wall enter, it's not going to output anything. But if I paste this, it's going to put my cursor in the next line, which doesn't look very nice. So for this, what I can do is so I can use tr minus d for delete and then next line so it's going to delete all the next line let me show you so wall enter so here i'm getting this percentage symbol which means that there is no next line it's just my zsh who is putting this next line you know, forcefully i think that's it that's the command x clip my selection will put the thing in the clipboard and now if i paste this it's not going to give me any next line i can use rm cp anything whatever i want to use so I think the message is pretty clear that terminal is way faster than using any DUI based file manager because you can do stuff so quickly and it makes you smart because the reason is that you do things while figuring out you do things in real time it's not you have to put your brain while using your computer and with time it will make you better with computers so please give this a try spend one week by just using terminal and not any anything else i mean yeah you use ranger in your terminal but that's not the point the thing is that just use your commands instead of using any ranger like bloated software by the way this is my old laptop